Okay, um, good evening and welcome to Radnor Township Design Review Board, December 8, 2010 meeting. Um, we're gonna get started if it's okay. We have a, a time deadline tonight and I think we won't have any problem, but um, we have four items on the agenda. The first of which is Radnor Family Practice, DRB-10-44 at 427 East Lancaster Avenue for a ground sign. Great, come on up, thanks. Um, and I also asked if folks could turn their cell phones off. And if you have anything you want to show, there's a camera above that if you just want to put it on the um, table there. Great. If you could just introduce yourself. And is, this from, is this continued? My name is Rock Walker, and uh, I recently purchased a property on 427 uh, Lancaster Avenue, and I have a family practice office there and want to put up a sign. Actually, replace the sign that's currently there right now. So okay. this is, I guess you can see it there, the sign. Um, Basically, two-sided sign. Uh, you see the colors. Um, the signs actually, the letters are going to be raised. There'll be some gold leaf on those, um, and I think also the, the balls on top will have some gold leaf um, and the numbers too. Um, I think it's within specifications. About four foot by five foot, and then the decal sign that you see a little bit smaller that's underneath. Okay. You're going to get yelled at by the guy back there for not talking into the mic. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> People are at home watching. Oh, they are. I'm oh, watching. yeah. They want exciting stuff. Is that Rock Walker? It is. No. He's on TV. <laughs> um, any other questions on it? Or okay. Um, so is Wayne Dental Associates separate from Radnor Family Practice? Yes. That's two two practices. Yes, they're okay. currently assigned. Both in the same building, so sharing the building. Right. Okay. Um, so the height is basically four, five, six, seven-ish feet. So that's mm -hmm. good. What's the, what's um, the material? Uh, I oh, believe it says it right here. MDO, yeah, let's see. Let me see. The letters will be the letters will be cut out. And then Do you have any lights sh that. shooting up from the? There's ground. a light there that's right now. There, there, currently, there's a light there that I think sh shoots up. What and, and what color? Here. White, yeah. just uh, not yellow though. No. Okay. Okay. It, um, and it's replacing that the sign. It's in yes. the same location, right? Same spot. Okay. Replacing sign. I think it's a nice looking sign. Actually. Yeah, it looks nice. It's a great looking sign. It's real good. How big nice. are the letters? You don't, do you know? How I mean, big? We usually ask that. Oh, boy, I think they're six inch. I believe, are they on, not on there? No, four, one, one. They're under 12 because the whole sign's good. Yeah, they, could, so. they couldn't be larger than that. I don't think the they are, here. yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, we just followed all the, the code. But they're actually gold, gold leaf. That's what I think it'll look really good. It's going to look really handsome. Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thank you guys you have much. other questions? No. No. Nope. Nope. Okay, can we have a motion then? Yeah. Do you have a DRB number on it? 1044. Not, oh, I'm in the case, in the matter of DRB 1044, I move that we accept the um, the sign as proposed, as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thank you. Great. See ya. Okay. Um, Even have an agenda. It was emailed. I didn't print it out. I thought it must have been here, wasn't it? No, it was up on the front table. Okay. I don't need it. Okay, so that brings us to uh, agenda item number um, two, which is DRB 10 45, Radnor Dental Associates PC at 304 King of Prussia Road um, in Radnor for three wall signs. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I'm applying for wall signs to existing building at 304 King of Prussia Road. Uh, Can you just introduce good. yourself? I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, excuse me. I'm Dr. Jerry Doyle. Oh, you're Dr. Yeah. Jerry. Okay. Uh, I'm the uh, owner of Radnor Dental Associates. Uh, I purchased the building uh, about a year and a half ago. Okay. Do you want to give it practice. another turn? Because that's what they're seeing <clears throat> up one more. Wait a minute. That's there probably you go. that's good. <laughs> Great. All right. Okay. Uh, currently, the uh, there are 12-inch high numerals on the side of the building, uh, with the supposed date uh, of that the building was built 1768. The intention is to add <clears throat> these raised burgundy plastic letters with the name of the practice and the phone number to the side of the building. 
And there will be one uh, white spotlight below just illuminating that sign. And this is the south side view. Currently the north side view, the, again, there's the date on the side of the building, 12 inch high letters. And we'll be adding the same raised plastic letters. They're 10 inches high uh, on the opposite side. Uh, to the front of the building, we're removing a, an existing sign. And we'll be adding five inch high polished brass letters. That's nice. And again, that will be illuminated from a small spotlight overhead. Did you say the sides are illuminated? The, each side, Just there will the be one itself. white light, yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, question on this, I guess, um, Matt, do we have a problem here with three signs? It's a corner property. He's allowed two, right? I want to make sure that I have a, a lay of the land here. Um, do we have an, an, an overview of this? So it's a corner property, a corner so he has Rose two roads. There's and nothing on uh, the opposite side. There are no buildings uh, on the opposite side. Is that your parking next to, to your north? Yes. Right. And on the north side, that's my parking. And there's nothing on the north side uh, for. I it's Bell I'm Rose is behind you. The Bell restaurant, Rose is right? Behind so you me, don't right. really, and you don't really see them. And so no. that one that's got the fire escape, that's on your parking. Uh, that's the parking, parking area. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. the entrance, the driveway entrance, and the parking side. Right. Well, what so, we can do is, pardon me, um, is the front of the building changing at all? No. Are you having you have an existing plaque address and doctor's names to be removed? Right. But He's then, proposing to add. Then you're going to add existing plaque with address and doctor's names. That'll be. That'll there was actually another plaque out front that was removed, and that was. Uh, Dr. Rocky Walter, when he left, I mean, he had a sign, Radnor Family Practice, out front, which he took with him. Right, but understand, he didn't have signs on the sides. No, I understand. Yeah, well, he did, actually. Did he? Yes. Well, then he predated the code, probably. Right. <laughs> yeah. So well, what we can do is is you can, can have two signs here, two wall signs, right. mm -hmm. okay, because there's two, there's two street frontages. You can have one wall sign per street frontage. Right. Okay, so... I mean, it depends how you want to treat the one in the front view. In my opinion, the way it's designed right now, that's a wall sign, okay? But mm -hmm. if you want to shrink it and how, call that an instructional sign, a directional sign, something to that effect, but it can't be, it can't be called a wall sign, okay? Because then it'll be on three sides, all right? Which isn't permitted by, by code. You follow me? Dr. Doyle, is that, do you understand that? I, I understand that that's the code. So, yeah. What's so the, if um, you want to, what's the size of the front view sign? Not to jump ahead here, but where it says. The letters uh, <clears throat> are five inches high. What's your most important, what's your advertising here? You want to you wanna get people's attention. Is it your front view or, or is it the two sides? Well, the two sides would have more visibility. Okay, then, then if the board, if that's your suggestion, then we could shrink the, the front sign? side, the front view sign down appropriately and call it, a, call it a, a directional or instructional, okay? Okay, I mean, where the, where the brass letter, where he's proposing your brass letters, he should have a smaller sign there that says, yeah. you know, Radnor Dental Associates entrance. So when yeah, like so that. when people are walking along the sidewalk and they'll they'll know that the that that's the door right there. Right. Not the somebody main, from the, the street. Main to the office? That's the that's main entrance, <clears> isn't <throat> it? Main entrance. Yeah. Um, so how would you propose that he do that? Not in the brass letters. Uh, how much smaller does that have to be? What? Well, I mean, what what is there now? Yeah. What is there now? Is is more along the lines of what would be permitted in terms of being called an, an instructional or yeah. yeah. Information. <clears throat> That's the size that would be appropriate, in okay. my opinion. So yeah. when can we approve this as a directional sign? You the can. Letters? You can at that size from the existing plaque sign. To the, to looking at the front. Oh, view. you mean what is there now? I thought you meant what yeah. is there on the proposal. So <laughs> no, but what's proposed though is is increasing that. It yep. looks like four or five fold. So yes. So that's getting along the lines of a wall sign, in my opinion. Yeah, so I we got got to get that shrunken. <clears throat> okay, so. Well, if you shrink it, though, it's basically worthless. Three inches, you could read. 
five inch letters are pretty large when I'm standing at a door. The problem is there's, you know, the code is the code. Um, and were we to submit this, the next applicant who comes in with three signs maybe puts three large signs. Uh, so it creates a problem. The only relief for that is to go before the zoning hearing board and ask for a variance. Um, I'm sure we can, well, Mike may have some comments about the side signs, but I think any two we could approve tonight mm -hmm. and we could perhaps do what Mr. Bauman's proposing on the front and then we could approve the whole thing and you could take that under advisement and figure out what you want to do, whether you want to well, go with that. Well, no, you can approve the two side signs and then I'll go for a variance on the front. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do that? Yeah, because it's worthless doing what you suggest. Okay. Okay. Do we have comments about the signs in general? Um, we're okay with the with the phone number, right? On a wall sign. On a wall sign. That, that, yeah. I think so. There's, yeah. There's no, there's no differentiation in letter size for the phone number. Right? Yes, the phone number is it's smaller. smaller. There's six. No, I, I'm letters. sorry. I didn't mean from your perspective. Oh. I'm just talking about okay. within our purview. Right. Yeah, it's okay. Not on an awning, but on a. I'm a little concerned. Wait, that we the, allow it uh, on an awning. You know, the, the wall, oh, the painted wall historic date sign is really kind of charming in a way, you know. What would you like to say? And the... Um, I'm sorry, what did you say, Michael? I said the, the 1768, yeah. you know, it's too bad it doesn't say Circa or something like yes. that. Yes. But um, I wonder what is it actually going to look like if you now put a manufactured plastic letter directly under that, and do those two things start to confuse well, people a little bit? That's like, a pretty good representation of what, yeah, what it will look like. But is that, I mean, I, that starts to look like an address to me then, 1768, instead of it. Well, it's always been a confusing issue for the for most people, whether it was an address. No one really knew what it was. Oh, really? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Have you considered... Since it doesn't tell you what 1768 is. As a matter of fact, most people thought it was the address. Yeah, so. I mm. can see why. Right. Um, have you considered rearranging the Radnor Dental Associates so it's Radnor Dental Associates and maybe moving... We considered that at first and... Um, it, uh, most people thought it looked better when it was all across a all single across. line. I originally had it that way with the words uh, one above the other, and uh, okay. most folks thought it was uh, it looked better when it was. But how, how did you arrive at the height? Because the other thing you could do is maybe just move it down a little bit and separate it from the seven. It can be moved anywhere. This is just uh, I did this in PowerPoint, <coughs> so okay. I just. So took for example, a, you could even pull it to over the top of the doorway. The uh, what? I'm looking at the uh, which south side. Pull it over top of the door back there. Did that work for you? Over no, the red. That's uh, that's an employee entrance, and not visible. The main road is uh, King of Prussia Road, okay, which is so the front. That's to the front. So, right. but lowering it down, say a foot or so, just to get a little more separation, might work. Absolutely, we could do that. Yeah. Sure. And it is painted on 1768, correct? <clears throat> no, they're raised letters. They're no. metal. Metal? Oh, it's metal raised letters. Yeah. It's a different font, but... Uh, yeah, I think it, I'd like to see it moved down, too, because it would give some separation. Is this street number on, your, on the building anywhere? Uh, it's on the door. On the front door, the one? Right. Okay, on I see that. Door. Because we usually do ask for that for emergency purposes. You know, yes. you want to have that identified. That's kind of funny. He's <clears throat> this one you can't really move. Yeah. There's no place to go with it. Right. Of course, the other thing you could do is leave the sign where it is and maybe raise the 1768 up. <clears throat> and that would be more difficult. And I'm not quite sure where you would raise it to. And once you do, you probably have to repair the building. It probably, you know, it's, they've uh, been there be forever. Honest, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. so on that face that we're talking about, I'd like to see um, a separation between Rider Dental Associates and the date so it doesn't look like sure. they're together. We can drop and it then, down. But on the other, um, the other north side, north yeah. side I guess the, that the is, where the, that fire escape is, um, I guess you could drop that Radnor Dental Associates down yeah. a bit there also. Yeah. It, uh, 
That's probably where it would look, is that where you're thinking it would look better to see Radnor Dental Associates each a different line, but it's too busy with the phone number too. What is that entrance, that door? That's a door to a third floor apartment. Oh, okay. And you can't drop it down too low there either because you, of the window. You'd be sitting on the windows. Yeah, exactly. That That's pretty much evenly spaced, so. Yeah, I think if you could get um, more space between 1768 and Radnor Dental than exists between the phone number and Radnor Dental. It's a start. Right now it's kind of 50-50. Do you see Exactly. I tried to space them evenly. So you'd like to see a difference in the spacing between 1768 and the Radnor Dental and the phone number. I think that's what people are saying. Yes. you agree? Yeah. Wait. So we want to add space between the date and Radnor Dental. We don't. Right. We're no, okay no, with right. the with the, tele, the, the telephone number and yeah, I'm I'm okay with that too. And um, do you plan to put any kind of directional signs so people know which door to go in? Uh, on the, the currently the if you look at the front, looking at it from the front, the door on the right hand side has been the conventional entry door. I'm changing. Uh, we'll, we'll change that over to use the other door as the main entrance. So there will be a sign on that door saying, please use the main entrance or please use the other door. So the door that has the street number on it, that's not going to be the main entrance anymore? The, no. door to, the other door will be, yeah. right? The other door is, leads right into the current right into reception, the reception area, right? Right, yeah. So. Could you put your sign that we didn't allow on the glass as, as lettering, um, as vinyl lettering? Yeah. You could. I don't know how visible signs on glass windows are. Well, you can uh, see them around town. I mean, you yeah. could even do goal lettering on them. Right. Because you're allowed two wall signs, but you're also allowed glass signage up to 20% of the glass area. Right. And a lot of the, I don't think you would want white per se, maybe you gold leaf or so, right. but they do make a gold vinyl. Yeah. yeah, the only problem I have with that is someone just broke one of those front windows. Yeah. Oh, so, no. Yeah. I don't know if it was uh, a stone from a passing car or whatever, That's a but shame. it shattered the window. So that, well, is, that was another incentive not to put something on the windows because it becomes a pretty expensive proposition. Uh, oh, when you have to. Yeah, any type of gold leaf uh, lettering done today is. Do the white letters. Well, you do, yeah. Do the you white You don't have vinyl. to do gap. Well, you don't have to go <laughs> leaf, yeah. I mean, the, the vinyl applique letters are just cut by a computer with laser right. and they're just they're not very expensive mm -hmm. and they do have multiple colors you could I mean obviously you yeah. want something that would contrast the gra glass <clears throat> I'd rather go for the variance because I think it looks okay. it looks more professional right. this way mm -hmm. fine okay. right. well why don't we approve it on the window so that if you want it you can do it if you don't get the variance. okay That's now fine. If, if Dr. Doyle wanted to do it on the window but not necessarily vinyl letters but actually maybe put it, have a background behind it so you do like a, a, a color with well, you could, you could actually put it. I, I wouldn't okay. do that. You wouldn't want to do that? Okay. Yeah. We have allowed people to put signs within the glass. Right. Yeah. Uh, literally take your sign behind. I'm not saying you would want to do it, but people have, like the Gap does that with large kind of posters and that type of thing that mm. works for them. So, yeah. but Michael's right. We could approve it on the glass as long as it meets 20%. I and mean, then if you don't get the variance, you can do that if you want. That's fine. Okay. Michael better make the motion. <laughs> Um, any other comments, Matt? Uh, Cindy? No, I'm okay with it. The okay. Suggestions that we made. All right. Okay, I'll make a motion that DRB 10 45 for Radner, Radner Dental Associates at 304 King of Prussia Road be approved with the following modifications that the, uh, the directional sign, we'll call it, at the front door be disallowed on the wall and permitted on the window not to exceed 20% of the glass area and that the two wall signs, one on the north side facade and one on the south side facade, be approved as per presented, although the spacing will be increased between the 1768 date letters and the Radnor Dental Associates sign. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. Thank you. Great. Okay. So that brings us to number three, which is DRB-10-46, Eagle Village Shops, 503 West Lancaster Avenue for facade renovation, building addition, and accessory structures. 
Good evening. Hello. Um, my name is Sam Gervino. I'm an architect at JTA Associates, and I'm here representing uh, Village Associates, and this is regarding the uh, facade renovations for building number 11, 12, and 13. Um, start with building 11. <coughs> Building 11 will be getting just some minor updates, including color, some stone, and um, some dormers on the uh, roof. The uh, main drawing is with the new gable over the doors, which is currently Valley Forge flower space. Uh, that's the correct one, not the rendering, because we just didn't go back. Oh, OK. Day. Wait, I'm sorry, say that again, We please. didn't get that, did we? No. OK. All right. OK. We just right. didn't go back to the renderer yet. Gotcha. Um, um, this is building 13. Um, it exists today. It's just what we're proposing. Again, it's what? just uh, redoing some colors on the stucco, oh. the stone, and again, some uh, buildings on the roof. <coughs> Oh, you're right. Sorry about that. Do you see? Here we go. And then uh, I did them out of order. I'm sorry. <laughs> I only did that because building number 12 is a little more involved. We are doing uh, three small additions the conservatory, the entry tower, and the uh, bay window uh, jut out which we've already been through land development with approval. Is that this? <clears throat> so you, ha you have approval for the additions? For the additions, yeah. <clears throat> and um, the renovations um, are consistent with what we've been doing so far with the, it, with the village. It's the, it going to be asphalt shingles, just some stone color change. Uh, some stucco color changes. The stone will be consistent with the new monument signs that we did with mm -hmm. the stone. Um, <clears throat> we will also. Can you remind us what that was? Is that real stone it's, uh, or synthetic no, stone? It's the uh, El Dorado. They call them Lickum Stickum. <laughs> Stickum stone. Yeah. Sticky stone. Yeah. Yeah. It's the applied stuff. Okay. Um, back to the uh, site plan. We are also replacing uh, the sidewalk concrete sidewalk in front of building 12 and 13 with um, new pavers that we've also been implementing throughout the village as well. Okay. Um, can we just go back to the facades for a second? The, am I, well, a couple things. First of all, the, the everybody's getting new windows or just in certain locations? Um, I believe everybody's getting new windows. But even the existing windows are being yes, replaced? Yes. Okay. And what are the new windows? Uh, they are... Um, Aluminum clad on the exterior. Simulated divided yes. lights? Yes, simulated divided lights. And, um, so pre-finished aluminum, yes. just a whitish, uh, creamish the colors color? colors are dependent on the building. Uh, I believe with building number 13, they're like so far preliminary, like a, almost a mallard green to go with uh -huh. the house shop signage color. Oh, okay. um, I believe on building number 12, they're kind of a rusty color. To kind of offset it from the stucco colors that we chose. Okay. And I believe building 11 is uh, off white -ish. Okay. <clears throat> so the stucco is, I'm sorry, no, sorry is the stucco being painted or you're putting yes. a new ephus yeah, or yes, something? Painted. Okay. I'm sorry. Are you re roofing? Yes. And what's the roof? Material? Asphalt shingles. Any particular color or style? Or? Um, we've started doing them as an almost like little developments. I'm not exactly sure which color we will be doing this little section of a, a couple of the other ones were the, uh, the more brownish color the weathered wood was in another little section so this area might be weathered wood again or we might try a different color Are but they architectural tag yes yes <clears throat> um, what stage are you all in, in design you're doing construction documents or yes. are you 
do we want to see those materials? I mean, normally in a facade renovation, we would ask you to bring the materials in. Um, I think the drawings look nice. Oops, excuse me. Sometimes it's hard to tell. So um, we already approved this stone on the monument, but you're thinking I'd, I'd like to see it again for use in this situation? Well, A, I don't have picture-perfect memory, number one. I know. But, no, but I mean, it's The stone up. with the whatever the proposed window is with the mm -hmm. proposed stucco colors. Um, where, I, and I don't, where are you guys? When are they? Where are you going to bid or something in some uh, time frame? In about probably a month or so. I think we're looking to start uh, breaking ground March. Okay. I think, March. Um, I th think we need to see. I, I don't expect any huge surprises, but I I can't remember the last time we approved facade renovation without seeing mm -hmm. color samples and materials. Um, I and as I say, I think things look nice. I mean, um, no, I have the exact colors of the stucco. You do? <laughs> yeah, okay. But I did unfortunately bring the... Um, well, but the let's stuff. say for the roofing again, is it just because you guys hadn't gotten to that point yet? Yeah. And you're working with the, the owner property to... property manager isn't exactly set on what she wants this okay. little... We're kind of doing them as like little neighborhoods. Right. So I don't believe she's 100% set on what this little neighborhood is going to be yet. Okay. The color. What about the awnings? Is that also... That's a, the awnings and the um, signage are going to be under a separate submission. Okay. Um, will that be following pretty quickly you know, in the next month or two, the awnings, for example, I, and the signage? Or is it up to them? so because we're going for a variance to get um, the use of uh, blade signs. And I believe that's in the works. For Will you guys submission. be bringing those back, or would a sign company be bringing those <clears throat> for the next submission? Um, I don't think it's a sign company. I believe it would be us with George Brosman. Okay. The lawyer, okay. Because um, I'm wondering, I mean, wonder if we could just approve everything, you know, fac elevations, facades, et cetera, and then when you come back, ask them to, re or at least before you start putting shingles on, <laughs> bring them back. Because we don't want to make you come back. I mean, we do want to make you come back, but I, I don't want to muck up the works. But I think it's important to see okay. those things. Okay. Do you, you agree? I, I agree. I, I think you make a good good point that you, the renderings are lovely and that, you know, so far everything's been done beautifully, but it would be our responsibility to look at the materials and, and approve them. We would do that in any, in any other situation. So I think so, you're right. So I think we'd want to see shingle samples. And it's also important that, and I look. I know you're going to do a good job, and I know she wants to do a good job. But you know, are we going to have three compatible shingles? Well, mm -hmm. she oh, wants. No. I know they're going to be different. And I understand no, that. No, no, each each one of these buildings, the shingles will be the same on. Right? Oh, they will be. Yes, they oh, will be the same. Just hadn't decided on them yet. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, wait, wait. All right. Speaking the same language, each building will have a separate shingle. No. The same on the building. If, if, I think That's what I'm hearing. Like, That's what I thought. Did this area, I think, in Mm -hmm. Then we've done you switch to a different. To a different okay. And then this area will be the same. One oh, shingle. So it is a yeah. unified. Okay. It's a, yes, yeah. It is, yeah. Within each group of three or four, right. mm -hmm. two or three. Okay. All right. I think I do think we want to see those, and I'd like to see a window. You don't have to bring the entire window sample in, or at least photographs and/or you know the color samples for the windows. Okay. Um, are you extending? It looks almost in the renderings, and I can't tell if that's. It looks like the rake boards and so forth are being extended. Additional moldings put on or not? Which are you referring to? Well, I'm looking like building 13, for instance. If I look at the rendering, maybe that's just the way it's rendered. You have a little dove coat there at the top of one of the gables, and that we are adding up at the top. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't believe we are extending the overhang okay. the eaves anywhere. I think All right. we. When we were doing the rendering, we were talking about it and trying to push for it, but okay. the property manager didn't go. For okay. It. Well, I think the shingles, the windows, and then final colors, and you know, if you're going to be coming in for the awnings and the signs anyway, just bring that back. I, mean, I don't see any reason we can't approve it. No, especially if we can get it done for you before um, you're ready to go forward in construction. You said March. Yeah. Yeah. Leave, so. So, so we have I a couple more meetings yeah. before that. How about, is there going to be additional, you said new sidewalks so forth. Um, is there additional landscaping? Um, I don't believe so. I think all that's there right now is sidewalk right up to the curb. Okay. And I mm -hmm. believe we're just putting it right back just as pavers. All right. Taking out the concrete. 
just for trying to make it consistent. Any new light okay. fixtures? Okay. And the paver is what? Concrete paver? No, it's like a, an EP. Interlock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of where is that sidewalk being done? If you can um, point it. Uh, sorry to bring bring that back up. Um, right now, there is just the concrete mm -hmm. sidewalk this whole way. And it, everywhere else through the village is either brick or these new pavers. Mm -hmm. So we're taking concrete out and trying to make it cohesive to match the pit pavers. Okay. Nice. I think we'd like to see that too. So I would say shingles, window, samples, colors, pavers. Um, stone and paint colors is there anything i'm forgetting or do you guys want to mm -mm. say or comment or require are you okay with that yeah okay you guys okay i'm with that? good with that yep yep i'm just writing down what you're saying so they brought in they brought wait didn't we make them bring their stone? No. Yeah, I remember you did. Yeah. I told him that in the next day he's like, uh, so. Oh, the Acme, the West. Basically, basically we, they just said, well, we'll use better colors. And we said, oh, okay. So. Um, the one where Kmart is? Consistent. No. The sorry. other one? Okay. Um, in, in, in the matter of consistency, I mean, we, we either need to say, okay, we right. want to see off samples or yeah. not. But yeah, no, I, I there's agree. There's no indication mm -hmm. that. Spread Eagle Village, which has always been a good, um, I mean, they do a better job than most. Why would we trust? And everything we are proposing here is already being done somewhere else in the village. The stone has already been done. The pavers have already been done. Well, I understand We're on the monument sign, sign but is it being done on other buildings? Not yet. Right, it will be. Just okay, I understand. Be. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's not anything foreign or that hasn't yep. been a cross your eyes before. Mm -hmm. I think design of board should see color. And I agree with you. We, we were remiss on that. We maybe didn't. But, right on that. but if he's coming back for the awnings and the I'm, I'm, signage, but yeah. we're you know we're talking about moving forward. We, we need to be consistent with that kind yeah. of stuff because right. it's not fair. Always. Yeah. No, I agree. and we do want to be fair. And this is a and beautiful. What would you like regarding the stone? I mean, we have a stone board sample. It was yeah. About two hundred pounds. Oh. <laughs> How big is it? <laughs> it's, you know, just big. Pounds. It's a full mock up showing. Well, well can't you get individual stone stones from them? You can. We could, yeah, possibly. Yeah, just get I mean, that. would we be able to just take pictures? And then photo, yeah, yeah. That are there now? Well, that's fine, too. Can bring that? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me just would it be, since the monuments are in place, and I may be totally off on this, is this something we all drive by, we could look at, and get a feel for what uh, If he wasn't bringing the other stuff in, I would say fine, but I, I want to see the other stuff. He's okay. already bringing the other stuff. Okay, stone, shingle, awning, and paver. Window. Shingles, windows, paver stone, and pink colors. Paint. Paint, yeah. Which is primarily the stucco, but I don't know if you're repainting trim and so forth, too. So. Yes, we are. And you that's, say you got them, but that's yeah. That's one of these. Yeah. Okay. Shingles. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so okay. we have nothing to approve. No, no, no we, I think we can approve it contingent upon. We can approve the design concept. Yep. And okay. then but, just but say the already got approval for that. Well, we, have to, we, have to we have to approve the we facades. Have to we have we to have approve to facades all the changes change, to the any facades, change of materials the additions. to exterior materials. I, I understand that, but Jim, Jim, do you want to just do you want to just continue the app and improve everything at once, or? Well, I get the only reason I would I just want them to feel that they're not going to finish working on these drawings and then come back next month and we're going to not approve them and then they're left high and dry. Okay. Because all right, that's, that's the only reason I was. Okay. that's fair. Wanting to give them mm -hmm. the ability to keep working. Is it okay? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would just say approve the drawings as submitted, the facades, et cetera, contingent upon final review of those materials and awnings and signage ultimately. Yeah, I'll make a motion that DRB 10 46 for the Eagle Village shops at 503 West Lancaster Avenue. Uh, be approved with conditions as follows. Uh, building 11, 12, and 13, the design of additions and uh, changes to window and awning locations, et cetera, are approved in concept as presented. 
uh, with reserve to approve at a subsequent meeting the final color selections for roof, painting of facades and trim, uh, window sample colors, paver sample colors for re-sidewalking the area. And uh, I think that's the list. Right. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay, so that brings us to our last item on the agenda, which is DRB-10-47. Uh, this is Wayne Vision at 129 North Wayne Avenue uh, for an awning. We should probably hang on to these all the way. Yes, I would hang on to them. Signage mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know she didn't ask the dentist. Oh, I didn't hear what you said, but I agree. I didn't hear it, but I was thinking the same thing. Good evening. My name is Vince Brown. Um, yeah. I've been an optician in Wayne for 22 years. Um, I've worked for uh, Ely Opticians. Um, recently, I um, moved the office from uh, Lancaster Avenue to 129 North Wayne Avenue um, and changed the name to Wayne Vision. Um, uh, we have an optometrist on the present uh, premises, and um, you know sell sunglasses, eyeglasses, um, have a lab. Um, so uh, um, what I'm presenting is um, here's, um, we're right between um, uh, Troubadour Music and Elegance Cafe um, and took over where Connor Ryan Gallery used to be. And um, basically what we're looking to do is um, move or, or change uh, the valance and the side panels on the awning to uh, read Wayne Vision. Oops, sorry. Um, and also, um, right now we have eyeglasses on either side on the side panels. We w actually want to change that to um, have the street number um, and also like to have <laughs> Isn't that cute? Uh, if it can be done to um, to have this on either side too because when 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 folks walk down the street uh, because uh, you know they're walking in closer to the window a lot of times you know they can't see they have to come around you know look at the awning and see what, what we do um, so I thought this might you know let them know that we're you know we, we sell eyeglasses um, um, Where do you want to put that, Vince? Uh, that would go on the side. Oh, on the side panels. Just on the side panels. Mm -hmm. um, if it can be fit with the street number. Mm -hmm. um, so you're proposing the street number and the little eyeball thing on the sides? Or is the street number on the front? I thought this, <clears throat> you know what? I thought the street number would be best on the side for folks walking down the street trying to find us. Okay. Um, we have the number on the door, but no one ever sees that. Right. Um, so, it, if the two could fit on the side, I would I would like to have them on the side. Um, maybe um, the number, the street number, right down here at the bottom, and then um, where the little triangle is, maybe have this. Um, yeah, that's that's picture. well. We'll have to talk about it. But you're supposed to have everything contained within the bottom eight inches. Oh. Okay. On an awning. Um, of course, you could put the little eyeglass things here. Put them where the crosses the are, right? Yeah, he was trying to put them on the side, so. Well, let's, okay, all right. So, it's a, you, you're keeping the same awning, you're putting a new valence or a new drop on it. Correct. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, and the other question is, you have eye care on the front. The, the sign ordinance says that you can put the name 
the phone number or the address on an awning. It doesn't say you can advertise product. Um, so, and we went through this recently with Matador across the street and down, okay. where they wanted to put, you know, tapas, cocktails, whatever. Um, yeah, tequila. You know. So it's again, it's just part of the awning. Oh, part of the awning. Part of the ordinance. Okay. So maybe, um, maybe the eyeglasses. Um, this this picture here. Maybe put that in place of where the crosses are instead of. Can you can you just make it bigger, like and put it on the front window, so when they're walking by, they can see it. I mean, you got. What twenty percent coverage? Yeah, we could mm -hmm. do that as well. Yeah, that because takes, this might that, that, take, that takes it out of this. That might get should. lost on the, uh, on the awning anyway. Yeah, it might be hard to translate. It might be hard to put on the awning. Right. Yeah. yeah when I first saw it, I thought it was in the old days. They used to have these literal, oversized sculptures for certain yeah. professions. That's what yes. I he was have. You know, like a barber pole yeah. or yeah, the yeah, eyeglass. That's what I thought. Right, right, right. <laughs> Which I was yeah, pretty cool. Looks like that. It's like an old English movie or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you make that into a... They kind of look like your frames, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's true. If you make that into some sort of... It could be a graphic. A graphic, you just put that on the window. And okay. You know, it becomes yeah. a landmark in Wayne. Now, you does know the that... sexy pair of glasses? Yeah. <laughs> Has anybody seen those? Yeah. What? Okay. You have a question? Put some legs um, on. Um, if I had it on the window, would it be have to be placed off the window, or can we have it... Like like a like a vinyl kind of thing that could be stuck on the window. You can put it up, absolutely you can stick be it on the window. Yeah. Okay, you can't you can't cover more than twenty percent of the glass. And you could put eyewear and eye care on the window. Also. That's true. You can put that on oh. the window. Yeah. Okay. That's a You'll good. Notice, and people yeah. will see that more than on your awning because as you know you have to be sitting across the street having lunch to go. Oh, eyewear and eye care. Right. And there are a lot of I don't know who's current in that business, but it used to be they would. You know, if it was a restaurant, you'd, you'd have that up there. Like, doesn't Johnny's Doghouse have stuff down there? I don't know. Yeah. A number of You know, shakes. Have, yeah. mm -hmm. He'll put shakes, dogs, yeah. fries, or somebody else. Beans mm -hmm. Beauty Supply might say three different things that they, you know. I think Pear Tree doesn't. Don't they have, like, Pear Tree across the bottom of theirs in Frosted? They do have, like, a Frosted banner yeah, across somewhere. the top. Right. Which looks. But sometimes people yeah. actually put. The, that's what we told Matador to do, that yeah. they couldn't do it on the, the awning, but it, there's no nothing to Include them from doing it on the glass, so they were going to put okay. tapas cocktails. Mm -hmm. That whatever. would be good. Yeah. That so okay, you're good with that, you guys. Yeah. Okay, so this is your this is your um, font typeface. Actually, that? no. Okay. Um, we would like to change the font the font to this, which is copper plate gothic. Um, I thought um, uh, that was too bold. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Mm. Uh, this is easier to read, I think. Yeah, it's nice. Um, and it's just a little cleaner. So. It looks good. And it will be eight Thanks. inches. Eight centered. inches, yes. And then what do you want to put now on your um, the two ends of your, of I guess your awning? The address. Uh, How the, about the street address? The street address. Okay. Would you put that twice? Sure. Yeah, because it looks... Maybe on each side? Yeah, because it's better for balance, I think. You know? Right. Um, for the folks coming up... Well, please, we'll see train, on both sides. Yes. And up from the other, oh, wait, other direction. Oh, wait. Not on the... Okay, we need. Do you on mean the side panels? Not the side panels. I don't. Can we do the side? We don't. Do we allow the side panels? What I meant on the eight inch on the valance, you can put it. Oh, where I care either is. side, but yeah, where I care and I wear are. But the triangular side panels. Do we? Is that allowed, Matt? It has to be on the. Um, it Hold has on. to be on the vertical face. It has to be on the vertical. Okay. Yeah, we haven't allowed anything sense. on those side panels. It has to be panels. on the drop-down portion only. The front vertical. No, no, he knows that. But instead of where it's, instead of where the eyeglasses are, right? You're saying put the address. Instead of where the eyeglasses are. So that when are. you're yeah. walking down the street, you can see right. the address. Oh, yeah, that's fine. You you that's can you can bend it around on each oh, side. Okay. That's, oh, that's okay, fine. that's what I wanted. To know. You right. can put it on the side yeah. panels then. Yeah, that's, that's just fine. Just for the folks walking sure. down the street. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. All right. So now it's going to be a really simple morning. Most of them have some eye issues, so they really need to see where they're going. Hey, they're not going to be able to find you anyway. What's the difference? That's right. Okay, so we're going to do Wayne Vision and copper plate, eight inch. The address on either end, your eyeglass, which is a cute idea, on the glass, no more than twenty percent. And we can improve that tonight, right? Mm-hmm. And vision and eye care can be part of that sign. Job. And vision and eye, where it could be on or the glass if you want to. Operating hours and telephone number, anything you want, as long as it's not more than twenty percent. Okay. Another question, um, and this is just something that we thought about recently. Uh, um, What's the ordinance to uh, to um, have like a little flag or or a banner that would actually hang down from inside the awning? 
um, I, I know a couple other businesses have, you know, the, um, you know, just, just flags that, you know, here's a flagpole here. Um, we have a flagpole um, on, hmm. on our store. Hmm. Something that says. I know we dealt with flags over near uh, the bike line or in that little thing with the antique lady. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, the flags. Flags are permitted um, as long as you you don't have the, um, you know, you can put open. Um, but you can't have the, because uh, then we're getting into signs again as soon as you put your advertising out there as well. Um, I've talked to a few shop owners who put out, especially the restaurants who put out, you know, um, beer or anything mm -hmm. advertised, they get for free. So I kind of want to steer, steer clear of that. But if you want to put open, okay. there's the, the code is silent on that. That's, that's not a problem. How about the name? Again, I, I think we're getting into advertising again. Okay. Of, um, but I think the the intent is to let people know. Obviously, you're there, but also let them open, let them know you're open. So I think that that I would encourage that, though. But let me ask you this, Matt. He doesn't have a wall sign. He's just got an awning. Well, he has, yeah. Can he do a perpendicular sign somewhere? Like, I mean, obviously across the street they did it. Oh, you can do it if you Teresa's. want to come back. Yeah, that's what I I mentioned to you guys in the email that if you want to put a um, an overhanging sign, okay, that comes out. Oh, you mean like above? above. You're allowed a wall above sign in addition or? to the awning sign. I mean, the awning is generally meant to be supplemental to. You can go four square feet on that. Uh, I believe it's. Uh, I think it's two by two. But I, I can work with you on that. Okay. If you want to. I mean, the boathouse had has that. Right. Had that. Um, Teresa's next door Teresa's did a great great job with theirs. Um, yeah, that was rezoned a couple, three years ago to permit that, and I think it's a nice uh, asset to that particular area. And they're so, perpendicular to the sidewalk, yeah. so people can see them. And you right. can light them at night, and you know, things like that, so. You have lights up there, it looks like? There are two lights up there right now. And do they work? Uh, they do. Good. Um, so I think what Vince might have been imagining more, with picturing was, Inside, the way his awning is hung, there are like four perpendicular, I don't know what you call them, struts that um, you could actually tie a small banner to. So if someone's walking along the sidewalk, they won't see a perpendicular sign that's above his awning, but they might see a small flag hanging down that would be perpendicular inside, under, underneath. Am I right? Right. Is that what you were thinking? Correct. Yeah, so walking along the sidewalk, you know, you're not going to look up and I, see what's, up, what's above outside the awning, but you would see... Um, if he hung it not too high, just something, you know, a small, ba a small. Well, I think flag. it's going to be a solid sign. I, once you get into a wall sign, I think we don't want flag material. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I, was, I mean, it would be protected from weather, but it's kind of a temporary look. Yeah. I think you, you could. Mm -hmm. You could take those same strut. There's no reason you couldn't mm -hmm. do that, You right? could hang something from that strut. Hang something from that. Make a 12-inch by 36-inch sign that is, you know, bolted to those. Mm -hmm. above, above them. Yeah, it would be up in the awning. Not below. Up in the awning. Yeah, not below. Is it a well, as long as it's awning? Awning. What's the clearance? What are we required? It's a fixed awning. Yeah, but nobody's going to. I mean, nobody's going to see that. Well, only as they walk. Well, they'll close see it more it. than they see this. Yeah. Because when you when you're walking along here, you're walking along the building. You want to be under the. People are often under the awning. Right. There's not much room otherwise. Because right. everybody I know yeah. walks like. <laughs> looking down. Can he? What do we? Yeah, what's the code say about words or pictures or anything on the inside of the awning? nothing so if he wanted to would he be able to put whatever it is you wanted to put on the underside of the eight bottom eight inches so that when people are walking by oh because that's basically what you're saying but so we're saying perpendicular i don't think it would work very street. well perpendicular street um, yeah. yeah you're that's I'm saying perpendicular on the on the side panels not oh the okay yeah oh. yeah well yes you could do that but i kind of want to you know get away from any temporary signage any vinyl, anything that's hanging down, I, I, you know, the code's, code's clear on that. I mean, we'll do it on a temporary for 30 days per calendar year, but. So you would rather see like a wood kind of perpendicular, perpendicular mm -hmm. sign that, that came Yeah, uh, you know, and in, in due time. I mean, you know, yeah. obviously those, those aren't, you know, cheap, but I think that that would be, you know, and that's permitted by code and, it, and they look really nice, but it certainly is your call, but I kind of want to, you know, get away from the temporary things. The flags again. I'd like to see just, just an open or something straightforward mm -hmm. like that. Um, 
In fact, the pear tree, I think, next door has that out yeah, quite a bit. You need to have an American that's flag, flag or flag. Uh, they an, have a an open. Best of Philly or something like oh, that. Oh, well, that's another. <laughs> that's a whole other issue. But <laughs> You can put that in your window, Best of Philly, as long as you don't take over more than 20% of your window, right? Yep. That's Everything you do in your window, know. less, you know, 20% or less. And then if you want to do banners like Matt referred to earlier or posters, if you're how far inside the window? As long as it's not affixed to the window, you could hang it from inside mm -hmm. anywhere. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we could um, make a motion on what Vince has already proposed tonight, and then you can, going forward, decide whether or not you think this additional signage would be necessary. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Do we have a motion then? We're about to have a motion. Who's going to make the motion? You want to make All right. No, I didn't. I need the DRB number. Oh, there we go. In the matter of DRB number 1047, Wayne Vision, I move that we accept the signage as proposed. Um, Wayne Vision on the on the valance, um, eight inch copper plate typeface. On the side panels of the awning, the address of the building on both ends. Is there anything else? Within the bottom eight inches. Within the bottom eight inches, right. that would fit in there. Um, and in the, the window, eyeglasses can be on the yeah, eyeglass, eye care have to be removed from the awning, and the eyeglasses, the logo can be placed inside your window. But I don't really need to make them. I don't need to include that. In the as long as it's under twenty yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah. All okay. any signage in the window has on the window has to be under twenty percent. That was a bad okay. question. <laughs> you okay with that? Yes. All right. Second. Great. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thanks, Thank you. Vince. You're welcome. Okay. Do we have any more business for the board? No. Um, I'd like to just uh, mention something. I'd like to thank Michael. This is. Uh, is he leaving? He is. This is last. Swan this is the news. swan song. <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, I'd like to Michael thank you personally. Um, I've been working with you almost six years now since it's I came while, on. Yep. It's been a lot it's, of fun. But Enjoy you know, it. you've um, you put a lot of volunteerism and a lot of effort in here. Not a lot of people do that. So we thank you. The township thanks you. And the community thanks you. I think, I think you've put a lot of good input in, and I would really appreciate your efforts, and you're certainly wel welcome back anytime. Thank so thank you. you. Thank you. You're here. Thank you. Nice job. Great. Can we move to read? Yeah, can we have a motion to adjourn? So move. Okay. Second. Thank you.